Okay, now that the mill is on, what do we do? Well, your screen should look something like this. Mine's got a little pop-up window, so let's deal with that first. If yours doesn't have this, even easier. What does it say? Program file error. File 12343.nc can no longer be accessed on the device specified. The key question here is, do you know what to do when you encounter an error message at the mill? And what you do is always the same. You ask for help, and you work with the helper until you understand the error message, and then you proceed. This is different from encountering error messages on your laptop computer, where you can often just plow through them, ignoring them, not understanding them. It's really critical to understand the error messages at the mill. So what does this one mean? It just means that somebody before us had a USB drive in the mill, and they had opened file 12343.nc, and that USB drive is no longer plugged in. So what do we do about it? Well, we hit this exit button. And how do we hit it? Well, we hit the cancel button, which is way down here on this large and daunting keyboard. Good. Every button you push on the mill makes that same beep sound because often you're here wearing ear protection and needing to know whether you hit the button or not. This is likely the screen you're gonna see upon power up. The mill is not ready to run, and we've got error 102, servos turned off. The servos are the powerful precision motors that let the mill move, so let's turn them on. How do you do that? Well, look up here at this to-do list. The top of the list says door cycled, and there is not a green check mark next to it. So let's cycle the door. This is the door, and cycling it just means opening it and closing it again. And look at that, we got a green check mark next to door cycled. But how, what exactly happened? How does the door communicate its openness and its closedness? Well, look up here at the top of the door. Look at this little black block. And look how it slides under this cute gray house. Open the door and look under the house and you'll see two critical mechanisms. This green one on the right is a proximity sensor. It senses that the little black block on the top of the door is close to it or not. To the left of the proximity sensor is the locking pin. What looks here like a stainless steel circle is actually a stainless steel cylinder that shoots down into the door, down onto the left-hand side of the little black block, effectively locking the door closed so that you can't accidentally open it. And all that is why we have this lock symbol next to the CE stamp, stating that this mechanism conforms to the European standard for these sorts of safety devices. Great, we've cycled the door. But what about this next item? Emergency stop already has a green check mark next to it? What's that about? Well, look over here at the emergency stop button, often called the e-stop button. It is big and red and terrifying if you've never pushed one. So go ahead and push it. You can push it gingerly with your thumb. You can cram it in with the heel of your hand. You can punch it with your fist or your elbow. It is big and red so that if suddenly you feel like everything needs to stop, you can find it and hit it in a hurry. And notice how after pushing the e-stop button, that green check mark that came preloaded with our to-do list has gone away. And notice other things too. The light at the top of the mill is now flashing red. And down on the screen we've got error 107, emergency stop. And in the middle panel, e-stop pendant. And this icon for the e-stop button having been pushed. All telling us that the entire mill is in a full stop. So how do we release this state? Well, come back to the e-stop button and notice the three tumbling arrows on the front and twist the red button in that direction. It'll pop out, releasing the physical part of the button, but this error message won't clear and the light at the top of the mill still blinks red. Why? Well, this is a common pattern with a mill. There was an error, the e-stop button was pushed. We resolved the error by twisting the e-stop button and letting it pop out. But the mill is not gonna suddenly spring back to life in this moment. It has no way of knowing whether we are clear of all the moving parts. Imagine I was resolving an error inside the envelope of the mill. At the moment of resolution, I would not want the mill to start moving again. I'm still in there. So it sits and waits for us to tell it that it is okay to try to start moving again. And we do that by pushing the reset button. Notice how the light at the top of the mill stops flashing red. 
and the error message goes away from the bottom right of the screen. And you'll likely notice that startling blast of compressed air emanating from within the mill as the mill prepares to do some work. Take a moment to practice several times, pushing the e-stop button, releasing it, and resetting the mill to clear all errors. Next up, we're going to start making things move.